Now we have a similar question to solve the trigonometric equation. This time, instead of finding the general solution, we have to find it on this interval. In other words, we find the general solution and then substitute to find solutions that fall within these limits. Okay, um, here again we see a fraction. Very simply, we solve um, that problem by multiplying both sides. In other words, all the terms with a tan beta, in other words, the uh, lowest common denominator. On the right hand side it cancels, on the left hand side we now have negative 4 tan beta, the, um, but two of them because we are multiplying that, so uh, there's two factors of tan beta, so tan squared beta minus 10 tan beta is equal to 6, and to take, to simplify this let's um, make everything equal to zero and since there's a negative here let's add all of this on on both sides so that I have zero is equal to 4 tan squared beta plus 10 tan beta plus 6 okay so I took everything to the right hand side just to make sure that the coefficient of the squared term is positive and I did that so that now I can go and say let y equals tan beta you don't have to do this step I just do it because it makes it a little bit simpler for me and everywhere where there's a tan beta I substitute a y but this must be y squared because there's two factors there plus 10 y plus 6 and now you are more than welcome to use your formula your trigonometric, uh, sorry not your trigonometric, your quadratic formula to solve this or you can put it into two brackets if you know how to do that okay so we have to have a y and a y that's positive so these signs must be the same that's a positive so surely both must be uh, positive signs what times what can give me 6 what times what can give me 4 so I either have 1 times 4 or Two times, let's do it here. I either have one times four, do our cross method. Okay, one times four, two times two, or four times one. And then also to get six is one times six, two times three, or six times one. Okay, so let's try what we should get, try and get to is the value positive 10 and this tells me I should add to get to positive 10. So 1 times 6 gives me 6 and 4 times 1 gives me 4 which means 6 plus 4 equals 10. That means my 2, and since I don't need to go any further, I already found it, okay, I already found my answer, I have that this is my one bracket, and this is my other bracket, okay, so my one bracket is 1y plus 1, the other bracket 4y plus 6, 4y plus 6 and this is equal to 0 so that I find either y is equal to negative 1 or y is equal to when I solve this negative 6 over 3 gives me negative 3 over 2 and now I find that I now either have the tan of beta is equal to negative 1 or tan of beta is equal to negative 1 and a half okay now for for sine and cos we would have immediately said there is no solution to this one because tan and uh, cos can't sorry sine and cos can't be greater or smaller than negative one or greater than one but tan can be okay tan can be so we find our reference angle in our next step a reference angle for tan to give me one would have been 45 degrees okay so for negative one would be negative 45 because tan is negative in the fourth quadrant and negative 45 is in the fourth quadrant reference angle here I don't know what the reference angle for that is I'm going to have to use my calculator so I have 1.5 negative 1.5 and 
the inverse 10 gives me negative 56.31 negative 56.31 that's my reference angle and the very nice thing about tan is that it only has one general solution and that is beta is equal to your reference angle in this case negative 45 plus 180 times k that's where the difference comes in that's why it only has one re uh, general solution okay but for this case we've got two reference angles so we'll have two general solutions so this time beta is equal to negative 56,31 plus 180 times k okay. now this would have been the end of it if we had to find the general solution but we we are supposed to find all the solutions on that interval so it's not just the general solution it's specific solutions so we are continuing because um, actually here we should say where k is an element of integers and now we're going to make k these elements of integers in other words make k equal to 0 or what do we get if k is equal to 0 we find that um, in this case negative uh, 45 that gives me negative 45 and for this solution gives me negative 56 comma 31 and these two are smaller than 180 so they fall outside of my interval I don't consider either one of them next that also means that if I go negative 1, if I go k is equal to negative 1, I'm going to be subtracting 180 as well. That's also way too small. So I'll start with by adding by adding 1 period. So k equal to 1 means that I'm adding 180 to this answer. So b, negative 45 plus 180 will give me 135 for my one solution. For my other solution, it will give me what is that 123,69 degrees okay and both of these solutions are smaller than 180 okay so both of them will also be rejected so I need to add a little bit more how about k equal to 2 which means I'm adding another 180 now that means I can just add 180 to these two answers so I get 135 plus 180 is 215 degrees or 180 to this will give me 203,69 degrees okay both of these answers fall inside my interval so these would be rejected and these will be accepted okay let's find a few more k equal to 3 means I'm adding another 180 degrees or just substitute k with 3 if you want it it's up to you then for this answer we get 395 degrees okay if we add 180 to that if we add 180 to this one we get 383,69 there we go both of those answers still less than 615 so I can continue let's try another one let's try k equal to 4 in other words adding another 180 what does this give me uh, 400 580 so 575 degrees still allowed and for this one plus um, 180 would be 500 and 63,69 okay and that's still allowed because the maximum we are taking is 615 they less than 615 so we'll try one more I'm sure that's going to be the end of it k equal to 5 okay so another 180 added here would give me 755 degrees for this one and for this one another 180 here would give me 743.69 degrees if I add another 180 there and here I can see okay now I'm I'm out of it okay 615 has been reached so these are my solutions I can summarize it with set notation so I'll I can say beta is equal to um, 
200, either 215 degrees or 203,69 degrees or 395 degrees or 383,69 degrees or 575 degrees or 563,69 degrees. Good, long question, but I uh, think that was quite simple.